Hello everyone, my name is John Minisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I'm going to teach you on how to create this wonderful painting. Okay guys, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first my materials. Okay, so I'll be using limited colors in my palette. I have here the titanium white, the towel blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you'll observe guys that I'm always using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, and these are my brushes. So I have I will be using here the number eleven nylon flat brush long handled, number eight nylon flat brush short hand, long handled sorry, um, number three uh, filbert brush short handled, and number one liner brush for the details. Okay. So these are just the possible brushes that I'm going to use in the tutorial, guys. And I will be using, uh, of course, water to thin the paint. Okay. And if ever we need a water spray, so I have here. And this is my canvas, guys. It's um, 10 by 8 inches. It has three cuts of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made it myself. Okay, and pencil guys if ever uh, for the sketching of course okay so I think I'm going to start now and I'm gonna do the sketching first before we're gonna do the background colors okay so I'm going to sketch first the horse so here this will be the head this part will be the head guys so we need to through first an oblong something like this there if you're asking me guys if I have a reference yes guys I have a reference on this horse of course I cannot imagine the the face of the horse guys I do, I do not know what what will I do but yeah, it's still possible guys to to imagine or use my imagination in doing this horse but uh, I think the I want to be uh, I want to make my horse um, more perfect than just using my imagination Okay, so this will be the the nose part. If you are having a hard time drawing the, the proportion of the horse guys, I will be giving you the the what do you call this the the traceable so that it will be easy for you to, to draw the horse. And actually, guys, I'm just using the, um, the what do you call this? Um, the uh, trial and error method. Here. 
eyes here guys and my light guys coming from the left side I think I'm going to retouch a little here. I need to listen this part. I'm not sure if it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. There. So I'm uh, doing some trial and error guys. Then I'm going to put the, the ear here. Okay. That's it. And another ear here. Okay. And there will be a diamond white here guys on the on the center of, of its forehead. Yeah. And there I am done with my sketching. This is the first step. Okay, so I think I'm going to start now. Oh, wait guys, I'm going to retouch a little here. Just retouch a, li a little here. that's it guys so i think i'm going to start now with the painting or the the base color or the background color okay so i think i'm okay i'm going to start with the dark color first guys then i'm gonna do the the highlights there so i'll be having here the red color so i think here and i'm gonna use the the black to create dark brown there so i think i'm going to create a um, some dark tones here guys before i'm gonna start the painting be here so i think i'm going to spray it with with um, water guys so that it will become smoother and it will be easy for us to to create the strokes and I'm going to add a little yellow on the color yeah that's it there 
so I'm doing first the back the background colors guys before we're gonna start adding the tones the lighter tones here yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add a little yellow. I think more yellow. Yeah. There. So I'm gonna use some white, some red and yellow there to make it to have a lighter brown. So it will be a little orange brown, guys. There. There that this will be the perfect color for this. So as you see guys the The color is mixing with the with the with the paint gel, so it's okay, guys. You can actually let it dry and you can cover it later. There. Anyway, I'm just doing the background color first. Okay, and I think I'm gonna use another brush. Which is the the filbert brush guys. And I'll be using the black again with red. And I'm gonna mix it to create a darker color. There. here let's paint the eyes there just black okay and also the nose guys so also just remember where you put the sketch guys So this will be the mouth here. Yeah. And we do add some dark tones on the on the ear. Yeah. And also here. Okay. I'll be using this brush again, guys. So I'll be mixing another orange. So let's remember guys that this is just a background color. There. Okay. So I'll be mixing under brown, darker brown. Yeah. Uh, 
acid this will be the the hair on the head okay I'll be making this part darker so I'm gonna use the darker brown color Okay, so we just have to make this part dark, guys. Anyway, this is just the background colors or the base colors. And later we're gonna add the highlights and details to this painting. But I think I'm gonna put first uh, some background here. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, so that it will dry first, then we have to going back adding the 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 backgrounds oh no the, the details of the painting so here I think I'm gonna use some blue color need some white there I think I'm gonna mix some violet there Okay, so if you are painting with me guys, just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy the moment while you're painting. Okay, so I'll be using other blue and the red with some yellow to make a dark green color here. So I think I'm gonna I'll be using a dark color guys in the background so that uh, it will be more contrasting with our subject yeah And I'm going to add some lighter color green on this part. I'm going to add some white to make it lighter green. So later guys, just say that's the background. We just have to let it dry first. Uh, because I'm using uh, student grade acrylic guys, uh, the basic or other just student grade acrylic. acrylic. And it's uh, the pigment guys is lesser than the than the um, artist as uh, artist uh, grade acrylic. So here guys, I'm going to add another lighter lighter blue color. It's a little blue-green guys, because um, it has mixed with the green background. Okay. Another light green here. Okay. 
there. So we are now doing the blocking skies of colors. So anyway, the blocking guys are just the background colors or the first coats that we had here. But later, guys, we're gonna add the, the details or the highlights or or the completion of our painting. Okay. Okay. So here, we're gonna I think I'm going to start adding the yeah. It's, little dry now and I think I'm going to start adding the the background color first so I think I'm going to, st to mix for the, the dark brown so just black and red there just use the black and red guys and I'm, going to, and I'm using the number 8 flat brush and just do it carefully guys and slowly here there so that um, it will have a smoother um, strokes, yeah, smoother strokes. I mean, there. That's it. And here also. And the benefits of um, using the limited colors, guys, is that you you will know on how to mix the colors. And actually, guys, I tell you that that is one of the most important thing when you want to learn how to, how to paint. You need to mix the colors your own, yeah. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna add some yellow there. So we get a little yellowish and gonna add it here. There. Okay. So I'm going to mix for another dark brown guys. There. And the same color, the same color techniques, the same color mixtures. So I'm adding some dark tones on the nose and here also. So just blend the colors here. There. Okay.
So I'm adding some dark, more dark tones. Okay, so I think I'm gonna let it dry first for at least five minutes, then we're gonna go back adding more details. So it's a little, it's better guys when it's dry and you can blend the uh, color smoothly. So let's try first guys. Okay guys, so I think the paint is already dry now and I'm going to start adding the details now. Okay. So just follow uh, what I'm doing guys and just enjoy while painting. So I think I'm going to start first on the on this part, yeah. I'm going to start with the shadings and blendings first. Okay. So again, I'll be using the number eight flat brush here, just long handle. And I'll be using the yellow, the red, some black. There. I'll make it. I'll make this part a little bigger. There. Okay. So, the good thing about um letting it dry first guys because um it will be a better you can have a better blending guys compared to to when you when you not uh, letting it dry okay so there so I'll, i'm adding more dark tones first there adding more darker brown here so again guys just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy painting. So I'm mixing again the dark brown guys. Again guys um you just have um to mix the black, the yellow and the red to make it darker brown. And do not add white. There, so I'm adding more dark here. I want this painting to be dark guys okay there and also here So I'm I'm blending it with a with a wet brush, guys, so that um you can have a, a better blendings. Okay, I'm gonna use some black and yellow there, and some red with more yellow. And I'm gonna make this part darker. We're not more black. So here, guys, we need to make this part darker. There. So again guys, I'm just adding more dark tones before I'm going to add some more details. Here some black and also here on the nose part there. And also on the eyes here. Here, guys. There. And I'm going to mix for a lighter brown. So here, 
So again guys, just use the the yellow, the red and the black. And this time I'm going to add some white to make it lighter. More red and yellow. And white. There. So I'm going to make this part lighter. So again guys, um just do it carefully and slowly. There. The color is a little yellowish brown, something like that. There. Okay. So I, I am starting with the blending, guys. I'm going to add a little red there. Okay. Okay. And also here. Okay, and also here. So at, I, I am, um, I am, I am doing, um, I'm doing it layers by layers, guys, so that I can achieve um, perfect bending letters, letter, sorry, letter, letter. Okay, so I uh, because I am using um, student with acrylic, right? that's why. I need to do it um, again and again. There. Make this part darker. And by blending the edge, guys, you need to just do it softly, like this. There. That's it. Okay. As you see, guys, the the edges become smoother, and also the blendings. Mixing more br uh, brown color here. So I'm adding more as you can cut, guys, to make the color solid there. I'm mixing another brown guys, it's I'm a little reddish brown. There. Okay. And here guys I'm adding more brown color. Some shades here on the eyes. So on the right part eyes of the right eye of the horse and also here we're gonna have some shades here there and here guys you can add more shades and also in the center there
the center of the forehead. That's it. And I think it looks like a horse now. Okay, and I'm going to add some more lighter colors. So I'm mixing a lighter shades, guys. So I'm just adding white here with some yellow and some red, more white, and another yellow. Okay, that's it. So I'm making this part lighter. I think I'm going to make it a little dark first. So I'm adding some re red key here. So I'm making this part lighter guys. So hey guys, if you're not painting with me, just follow what I'm doing here. And don't forget to enjoy while painting guys. some darker tones darker darker brown more red and yellow there more ye red and yellow there so i think i am actually um doing some glazing guys technique so i'm adding more thin colors or thin paints over and over so that uh, it will become solid okay. here and here I'm going to use this darker color here to add the lighter shades on this part and also here so just to careful guys and smoothly as you observe guys I am adding lots of tones dark and light to so the same places it will make the the paints guys a lot um, more solid yeah this is because I'm using um student quick uh, uh, student grade acrylics guys that's why I'm I'm, um, I'm doing it all, all over and over again okay the more yellow but if you're using um heavy bodies guys uh, I think you don't need to do this kind of um, techniques because the paint or the the paint is always solid or lots of pigments and it, it won't be hard to to create the the strokes or to create the solid strokes okay so here I'm adding more yellow there darker so if you adjust the tones guys just use the black and white there we can this brown okay Okay, and I think I'm going to move here on the horse face and here I'm going to, add, I'm going to use um, a darker brown here with some yellow so I can get the same mixtures okay, here I'm making this uh, I'm adding more colors here, Dark, uh, darker shades. There, and also here in this part. Okay, 
okay that's it so as you observe guys the hearts become a little solid little by little or inch by inch or moment by moment or something like that okay there and okay so that's it so i think i'm done with my first coatings and i'm going to zoom in so that you can see clearly this i'm going to add more details i'm going to start with the eye yes guys on the eyes there And I will be using a smaller brush, which is the number one liner brush. And I'm going to use more white. I'm going to use this color here, guys. I'm gonna mix it with the existing brown color here. There. And I think we need to spray it with water first. There, a little water to make it wet okay and i'm going to add some details on the eye okay here okay this will be our reflection guys on the eyes I'm not using white guys, I'm using um, almost similar to white but I'm mixing it with, uh, with some browns and I'm going to use some brown here yeah I'm going to blend it here a little with some brown color there okay and I'm gonna use a darker brown here with black there so I'm adding more shades guys on the eyes okay that's it and I think I'm gonna use a black guys. I think I'm going to use a pure black this time. Um maybe not, <laughs> sorry. I'm just I'll add a little red. Just black and red, okay? Here. In case if you are painting with me, just follow what I'm doing. And don't forget to enjoy guys every moment. There. Okay. And I'm going to add some lighter shades. So I'm going to use this color here with some yellow and red. There. I'm gonna use this color guys, it's um reddish brown color. There, I'm gonna add a little shades here on the on the eye bags. There. And also here. Okay, I think I'm going to make it I'm going to add more yellow and red. Yellow and red guys to make it more like orange. There. Okay, and also here.
it a little here. I'm gonna use another brush guys which is the, the filbert brush there yeah okay and I'm going to use a darker brown so I'm gonna use this yellow and red here with some black there let me make this part darker And here. Okay. And some here. So I think I'm going to add more white. I'm going to use this white, guys. This um, with white color. And we're gonna add some lighter shades here. Okay. And here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it darker. And I'm going to add some shades here. So just mix it with uh, existing brown guys so that it won't be um, so light, okay? And let's add some a little lighter shades here. Okay, I'm gonna make it darker by mixing with the darker brown. And let's add more shades or some four here with A lighter color okay there just do it slowly guys there and I'm gonna mix it with darker color here we add more lighter there and also here there okay and here guys on the jaw line yeah this part so let's add a little lighter brown here. Okay. This will be the jawline of the horse, guys. Here. And here, I'm going to add a little highlights. We need more highlights here. There. Okay, just do it and just follow what I'm doing, guys. Okay. Here. There. And also here. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to start adding some details, guys, on the on this part. This part will be lighter. And add more white. So I'll be using a pure white here to add the the white line of the of the forehead. Okay. Here. Okay. 
you guys just follow what I'm doing so it's just very simple when you add this one to add some line there yeah okay yeah that looks nice and looks realistic and I'm going to use the white here with some yellow and red add more white to make it lighter and red there going to add some more details guys some small details of the four yeah details of the four guys so here also So we need to do it uh, one by one guys and it will take time yeah longer time here okay. but this will worth it guys because it will make uh, the painting more realistic And use the tip of your brush guys I'm using the filbert brush there okay, and just do it slowly and carefully I'm adding some more white there and let's add more highlights here there and also here guys a little amount of highlights And here that's it here there We add more here. I think I'm gonna use a white case, a pure white there.
and here. Okay. So again, guys, I'm I'm adding the the highlights of the forehead. So all the lights are coming from the the, the left side of the the horse there there yeah I think that looks um, way realistic now okay so I think I'm going to add a little highlights on the on the top part of the horse, which is the which is the the ears in the hair above. Okay. So I'll be mixing. I'm going to add more red and yellow. There. And it's said some highlights here. Yeah. And again, guys, just do it slowly, carefully. Yeah. Okay. And here. There and going to add more yellow and red there. Okay. That's it. And here. I'm going to add more yellow, okay? And red. Here. I'm going to add more red guys and some darker colors to make this part um, suffer. Here I'm going to add going to blend some brown here. There. And I think here also. There. Um, just um, a darker brown, guys, but do not 
put some light brown there okay I'm adding more dark brown here so but you need to clean your brush first guys okay here yeah, and some black and more red and yellow okay here And here, there, and also here, guys. And I think we need to spray it with water so that we can have a little, so that we can have a better blendings. can create a, a longer hair guys there and here guys wait I'm going to mix for a, a darker brown okay for this part there okay with some yellow better and I'm going to add more dark here need some so dark just use the dark brown guys think more black there Okay. And some more dark and uh, dark shade on the ear space, the light right side ear. There. And also here you can add more dark. Just a small amount here. There. And also here guys on the white shades of the white. There. And again guys don't overdo it. There. Okay. Just a small amount. I think that looks um, way realistic now. 
Okay. And we're going to add more retouch. I think this part should be darker. There. And also here are some dark tones. Here. Okay. And then here guys, I'm going to add some lighter tones on this um, part. But first, I think I'm going to retouch this one here by adding more dark or black okay, here That looks nice. Okay, so I'll be mixing uh, a lighter, lighter brown, but not so light, guys. Um, just um, normal tone here, something like this. So just use the red, the yellow, and just mix it with the existing brown here. That's it. And I think I'm going to add some white there. there so just follow what I'm doing guys to add a little highlights guys on the on the hairs of the horse there and also here we're gonna add some highlights And I'll be mixing some brown, some normal brown guys with more red to create some shades here. Brown shades, okay, or brown tones. And here, there, okay. I think it's not hard to paint the portrait of the horse, guys. You just have to do it carefully and slowly and careful with your with your strokes. I told you guys I'm not really copying the the exact look of the horse, guys. I'm just copying the proportion. tones that will be the most important guys you need to to make the tones as closer as it should be so that you can achieve a more realistic effect okay and I think I'm going to use this brown here with some white okay this time guys it will be something like a uh, a lighter brown no oh, um a grayish brown okay, here 
That's it. Yeah. And here. And here, guys, on the part of the jaw line, there. Okay, I'm gonna make it lighter. Okay, and I'm gonna move it down, guys, so that you can see clearly. There. I'm gonna do the details on that part. Okay. And let's start adding the details here on the on the nose part here. There. And here. Okay. Let's add some shade. Always remember, guys, that this part shade should not be um, the same with the uh, with this. With the value of this color here on the eyes, so so that it will it will make great um realistic effect or just a small um lighter tone something like that. Do not overdo it. Do not overdo the mixing. Yeah. Here. Here, guys. Always remember, guys, that do it slowly and carefully. Okay, just like what I'm doing there. And more here. And I think we need to spray it with a little water. There. So that we can have a smoother blendings. Hey. Okay. And here. There. Here. Okay. It. and I think I'm gonna add a lighter color here this color here which I'm more yellow and red there it's a lighter color guys lighter tones so let's add more lighter tone here there and also here Uh, 
and here on the mouth there and here guys okay just a thin lines guys of um, strokes lighter strokes or lighter tones there and here also here there And I think I'm going to also add to also here. Okay. Yeah. I think I like that. It looks realistic now. I love the tone guys okay so let's continue and I think I'm going to add some more pure white here it has some white spot on the on the nose part guys the horse here there so again guys this should, I think this tutorial is not really for the beginners but that I think you can try it uh, for a challenge yeah um, this is uh, really a challenging um, tutorial guys so I'm going to add a more lighter brown tone brown color and let's add more shades here there And just it carefully, slowly. Touch it. There. I'm gonna use this lighter color here. Lighter brown. With some yellow and red. And let's blend it here. Okay. Yeah. And let's add some another lighter highlights here. Okay, and I'm going to add some yellow and red. I'm going to add more shades here. There. Okay. 
one more yellow and red guys or just you can use orange yeah just red and yellow and let's add more orange here there there that's it and here also there okay and here is some more orange color or let us see orange stones there that's it okay yeah, that looks realistic. And I think I'm going to add some white. There. And I'm going to add some highlights. Here. There. And also here. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks realistic now. Yeah. What else? So I think I'm going to retouch more. So I need to clean my brush. And I'm going to use this color here, guys, with some white to make it a little grayish or grayish brown. And I'm going to add more color here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to continue. So just some grayish here. And also here. Just use a grayish brown guys. If you are asking what color I'm going to I'm, I'm using now. There. Okay, I'm making it, I'm making it darker, so I'm gonna add some black here. There. And also here. More, adding more shades okay and I'm going to add more yellowish color here and also here yeah okay wait I'm going to add more white for the mouth part guys Okay. 
and I'm going to use pure white here add more highlight here okay and also here there okay yeah I think I'm going to retouch guys I'll just retouch more some parts okay and I'm going to retouch here and I'll be using a lighter brown then red yellow and white more red and white there so we need to spray a little to make it a little wet there and here and also I'm gonna use a darker color Okay, yeah, about that. And I think, guys, I'm going to make the background darker. So, oh, wait, I'm going to retouch a little on the hair part of that horse. So I'll be mixing for a dark brown. There. So this part carries with dark. there and I think I'm gonna make the background darker guys so I think I'm going to zoom out so that we can see clearly everything there okay and this will be my final touch guys the background so I'm gonna make a dark background so here some blue and purple blue and red to make it a purple and i have here a very dark purple there so careful guys
Okay, so I'm going to make some green. And I think I'm going to add some yellow, more yellow. So blue and yellow and red there. Uh, I think guys you are you can have your own background it's all up to you yeah I like the dark background guys because it will um, emphasize the subject the green color Here and some white. Okay. Take some more white here. Okay, and we'll add some more white and blue there. Okay, I am almost done guys and all I'm doing now is just retouching, plain retouching. 
So here. Okay, that's it guys. So I think I'm going to add more here. So I'll be using some dark brown. And more black. There. Just blend the colors, guys. There. Okay guys, so I think I am done with my simple demonstration how to paint the hearts and I hope you get something out of this tutorial guys and you can learn from your own you can paint, you can paint from your own guys, you can create your own horse Guys, thank you so much for watching this video today Please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future And Honestly guys, just keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all.